Hello, my name is John. I'm one of the software engineers here at OneClick AI, and today I'm going to be taking us through a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how we can easily run an AI model to solve a real-world business problem. In this specific scenario, we will be playing the role of a dress store owner, and we want to create a model that will tell us which dresses we should stock in the future based on previous sales data. So in order to create a model, we must already have a data set that has the column that we want to predict already filled in. Remember, the AI only knows as much as we tell it, so the more training data we feed it, the more accurate our predictions will be. So I'm going to log in here, and what we see now is effectively the hub of one click, where we can upload our data, train the models, and then run those models on new data sets. We'll begin by clicking the Upload Data button. Then we can upload our file by clicking here and then we can preview our data to ensure that the file we just uploaded is correct and formatted. Note that the recommendation column here is already filled in and that is because this is our training data set that the AI will be learning from. Now this is the most important step where we tell the model what direction to take based on what we want from it and the type of data that we have. For example, this first option allows us to choose which column we want the model to predict. In our case, we want the recommendation column, which contains a binary value where 1 indicates that it is a good dress to stock and 0 indicates it's bad dress to stock. For the prediction task, we will select classification because it deals with discrete sets, which 0 and 1 are. Basically, you'll want to select classification if there's a finite amount of possibilities for the outcome of the prediction column. We also have two other prediction tasks that we could choose from, regression and forecasting, which you can learn more about in our documentation, but we'll skip over them for now. The metric option is used to evaluate the quality of the models. By selecting accuracy, we are telling the model that we are more concerned with how accurate the model is and less concerned with how long it takes the model to run. So now we're ready to submit our model. Note that although OneClick AI is able to completely automate the model building process, it is not instantaneous. So after doing a quick analyzation, we can see that our new model has been created and it's scheduled to run. And we can click this link to view the progress. Now depending on how large the data set is, it could take minutes or even days to finish running the models. So for our purposes, I already have a completed version of this model that we can navigate to in a couple of different ways. One of them is by clicking on the task ID down here in the EVA messages, or we can look over here in the task column and click on the model that we've created. Here we can see a list of different models that have been created and details associated with each one so that we can pick the model that best suits our needs. Note you can sort by both accuracy and latency. In this scenario, the latency is very low because we are using a small data set. But with larger data sets, these numbers can be much higher. And if we were going to be running this model frequently in a software program, for example, then these latency numbers could be even more important than accuracy. We will not be using this API toggle button for our purposes, but if you wanted to export the model to use in your own application, you could toggle this Enable API button to receive an API link that you can use to integrate the model into your own software program. But we are going to stay within the OneClick platform to apply our model, and to do that we are going to communicate with the EVA chatbot, which is an AI that can read and interpret various text commands related to our models and data. For example, entering the command EVA help will give us a list of commands that we can use to work with our models and data sets. Now we're going to use EVA to apply our model, but first we have to upload the data that we want to use the model with. Remember, our training data set that we uploaded before was already filled in. Now we are going to use EVA to apply our model, but first we have to upload the data that we want to use our model with. Remember, our training data set that we uploaded before was already filled in. So we're going to upload a data set that has all the same columns as the previous one, except the recommendation column is going to be left blank. Because if you remember, we specifically told the model during the creation process that the recommendation column is what we want to predict. So in order to upload this file, we will click on the Upload Data button once again and choose our data set. And here we can preview the data. And as you can see, the recommendation column is left blank. 
This time we're going to click on save data only. Now we are finally ready to apply our model on our new data set. And to do that, we type at Eva apply model. And then we need to get the ID that references the specific model by clicking on the copy ID button over here. Then we paste it into the message and do something similar for our data. Get the ID and paste it after the model and hit enter. It can take a few minutes to get a response from Eva, but for our quick walkthrough, I've skipped ahead a little bit so we can just download the results right away. So I'll save this file as results and go to the file in Finder and then open it with numbers. These columns are fairly self-explanatory. The recommendation column contains the predicted value for each row corresponding to the data set that we applied to the model. And the probability columns over here tell us the probability that the value is a 1 or a 0, which basically tells us how confident the AI is with its prediction. So the higher the percentage, the more likely the prediction is correct. It's important to note that one-click AI uses a 50% threshold when determining the prediction. In some cases, a user might decide that they want a higher threshold depending on their use case, which is why it's important that one-click AI provides the probability statistics, because it makes it very easy for users to sort their output of data and only use the predictions that fit their threshold criteria. Now we have a reliable prediction for what dresses to stock in the future. And that's how you use one quick AI to create a model to solve a business problem. My name is John, and I hope you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough. If you have any questions or want to learn more about one quick AI, you can find a link to our documentation in the description below. All of us here at OneClick look forward to helping you solve your business problems with the power of AI.